Yeah, discussion. Yeah. Discussion regarding the Richard, Richard Settles determination case from the Knox County School Board. Commissioner Norman. Hey, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, uh, I, I brought this before us as a discussion item um, primarily because of, of, of attending the July 2nd Board of Education meeting. I, I witnessed the, the last episode uh, that Mr. Suttle has gone through uh, in terms of the attempts to terminate him. And um, this saga began three years ago. Um, now, given that we don't have any jurisdiction in terms of the specifics of Mr. Suttle, Suttle's case, um, what, what I think that you'll see, and if you haven't already viewed the uh, tape of the Board of Education meeting, meeting what you will realize is that, that besides the um, persecution, persecution or prosecution, um, and certainly persecution that um, Mr. Sell has gone through in these three years, this has been a colossal waste of time and money. And I think this board needs to hear it a little more intimately and certainly the citizens of Knox County need to hear it. Um, for many times we, we just acquiesce to the board on so many things. And, um, and I certainly hope that the, the new commission, the new board, um, delves into some of these difficulties for sure. Mr. Suttle's case is one of many. I've been told there's some close to 25 grievances filed so far for the coming year on what happened last year in the evaluation process. So uh, just that as a prelude and then what I want to do is just try to give a brief outline of what Mr. Suttle's gone through and then when I'm finished allow Mr. Suttle to speak if you would. Okay. Um, this began in 2011 and um, probably with uh, the evaluation process showing some deficient scores in terms of Mr. Suttle. His principal um, deemed him necessary to go through a process called uh, or in, in whatever other parts of the policy deems necessary for him in the next year to go through something called an intensive assistance program. He went through this for a year, did everything that he was supposed to do, uh, among writing a book report on Marzano's hierarchy of needs. I mean, just a tremendous list of things that you could find details about in the assistance program. His mentor, uh, Mr. Cheatham, at the end of that year found him uh, very worthy, recommended him to be placed back in his normal position, which he was a math teacher at Gibbs High School, very favorably uh, viewed upon by his peers, by parents who recommended him for their students, teachers that he worked with, et cetera, et cetera. Um, okay, anyway, after, um, after this assistance program, which went on for a year, required him to have a monthly meeting downtown, come downtown, and meet with supervisory staff, HR, whatever, um, he had uh, supervisory meetings every two to three weeks with other supervisors in his school. Um, just um, seven to eight observations during the school year. Um, just a continual onslaught of uh, burdensome activities for the year. Anyway, finished. Mr. Cheatham recommended that he's in good standing be reinstated, 
so on and so forth. Um, trying to find the place here. The, pre, the next year in the classroom, that's 2012-13, um, his principal, Mr. Lynn Hill, had him assigned to classes outside his area, PE classes, et cetera, uh, some other classes, which made him unable to reach a certain TVAT score. For those of you that are familiar with the scoring process, somewhat just an outline of it, it's something called TEAM, there's a section called TVAS, and then there's another uh, local school evaluation component of it. Well, because of Mr. Uh, Suttle's assignment in PE, he's a math teacher, couldn't get the TVAS scores, and so his co composite score drops down enough. So his principal can now recommend him for termination again. All right, so he goes, that puts him into this cycle of, of um, where the recommendation by the board has to take place for termination. It does so. The superintendent's involved, of course, in that. Um, and then Mr. Suttle has the opportunity by process to have a third party review his case. The third party review takes place. The third party is by a lawyer named Scott Range from Ham Ham Hamlin County, who all you know seems to handle a lot of these mediation cases. Mr. Range finds that these charges, etc., are not worthy. Nearly fall far short of recommending termination. He recommends he be reinstated. Um, the hearings last for four days. Mr. Suttle, on the last day, has five hours of testimony in his portion. The next event was the July 2nd this year board meeting, where the board finally sees the wisdom of saying, uh, no, I think we'll go rather than with the superintendent's recommendation to go against the third party uh, judgment, they decide to go with Mr. Suttle and Mr. Ring's recommendation for the third party hearing officer. So I think the vote was unanimous. If you viewed the proceedings, pretty interesting proceedings in that a couple of the board members, one in particular who has now resigned, sought desperately to try to um, attenuate Mr. Suttle's tenure, but failed. But it was just it was just an amazing proceeding. Anyway, um, so far that's it. Uh, the uh, the superintendent has the opportunity now to appeal this further to Chancery Court. I have no information about whether he will do that or not. Um, so I, I wanted you to hear this. I wanted also for, because of the just uh, extreme nature of this case, I think, uh, I wanted to also ask the superintendent and the board to account for all the direct and indirect costs of this effort over three years. And so I drafted a letter for Dr. McIntyre. I'll provide it for him shortly. I've also provided it for the media um, uh, in, the, in the moments before the meeting. By the way, I, I asked Mr. Book about it. and. And uh, he reminded me there was one other cost in there. So I hope you won't forget the stenographer's fee for the 700 pages of transcripts in the hearing, which I didn't ask for in this. But uh, that's kind of it. Just wanted you to hear it a little bit more, a little bit more detail. Uh, I can't imagine the turmoil that uh, 
angst, anxiety, fear, intimidation, threats. There are many, many others embedded in this. Um, threats of insubordination. That phrase just always just, I'm just bewildered by it. But uh, lots of other things in here. So I wanted you to hear that. And now I'd like for uh, Mr. Suttle, if he'd like to speak, uh, to come down and add to, uh, amend, correct anything that I had said.